Good morning. Welcome to St. Dominic Church. Thank you for joining us for our morning Mass. We will begin shortly at 8 o'clock. In an effort to keep our church a safe and healthy place to worship, we have guidelines for our parishioners to follow when attending Mass. Parishioners are asked to check in with the ushers, to wear a mask at all times, and to practice safe social distancing. To review these guidelines, we welcome you to visit our website, stdominics.org. This Friday, our adoration time will be different. Adoration on Friday will begin at 1 p.m. and end at 5 p.m. Again, the time for adoration this Friday is 1 p.m. until 5 p.m. Today, reservations will be put up from Eventbrite so that you can make a reservation for weekend masses. Please also visit our website for that information. We would like to thank all of our volunteers who make it possible for us to have Mass here every day and to safely practice our faith. Thank you. Please share this link with anyone who would like to join our Mass this morning.
better now. Turn your ear, O Lord, and answer me. Save the servant who trusts in you, my God. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I cry to you all the day long. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My brothers and sisters, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Amen. Well, once again, good morning. Welcome to our Mass here at St. Dominic's in Los Angeles. And uh, the Lord reminds us in the gospel today that we must uh, discern what is important in our lives, what is important to us in our faith. So let us ask God to help us keep our priorities in the right order and focus on the things that are most important, and that is what is in our heart. Lord, as we look into our hearts, we know we... Uh, 
acknowledge that while we love you, we all fail, we all sin. And so we come before you as we begin our Mass by asking for pardon for those times that we have failed you, that we have failed ourselves. And we pray, Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us all of our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who caused the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise, that amid the uncertainties of this world our hearts may be fixed on that place where true gladness is found. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the second letter of Paul to the Thessalonians. We ask you, brothers and sisters, with regard to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our assembling with him, not to be shaken out of your minds suddenly or to be alarmed either by a spirit or by an oral statement or by a letter allegedly from us to the effect that the day of the Lord is at hand. Let no one deceive you in any way. To this end, he has also called you through our gospel to possess the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, brothers and sisters, stand firm and hold fast to the traditions that you were taught, either by oral statement or by a letter of ours. May our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father who has loved us and given us everlasting encouragement and good hope through his grace, encourage your heart and strengthen them in every good deed and word. The word of the Lord. The Lord comes to judge the earth. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm, not to be moved. He governs the people with equity. The the Lord the earth. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea and what fills it resound. Let the plains be joyful and all that is in them. Then shall all the trees of the forest exult. Before the Lord, for he comes, for he comes to rule the earth. He shall rule the world with justice and the peoples with his constancy. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You pay tithes of mint and dill and cumin, and have neglected the weightier things of the law, judgment and mercy and fidelity. But these you should have done without neglecting the others, blind guides who strain out the gnat and swallow the camel. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You cleanse the outside of cup and dish, but inside they are full of plunder and self-indulgence. 
blind Pharisee, cleanse first the inside of the cup so that the outside also may be clean. The Gospel of the Lord. One of the keys, the key tools we must use in our lives to live a happy and healthy life, uh, especially a happy and healthy spiritual life, is the tool of discernment, to discern what is important in life and what is not important. This goes especially in terms of what direction we are going in in our lives. What is important to focus on in life and what's not so important. This can be uh, thought about in terms of what am I going to fight for in my life, you know? Especially those of you that are married, but all of us, you know, who have important relationships, you have to choose what your battles are going to be about, right? You can't fight about every little thing, you know, whether you're partner or spouse leaves the toilet seat up or down or the toothpaste is squeezed in the middle or the bottom. You can't fight about everything. You've got to choose what is really something that is worth your energy to fight for. But especially in the positive sense, where is my life going? What is important for me in my life? And this is what Jesus is so frustrated about. In this chapter 23 of Matthew's Gospel, it's filled with uh, woes to the Pharisees and the scribes, the Jewish leaders, religious leaders, because they are not discerning what's important. They are focusing on the wrong things. And that is what's so frustrating for Jesus, not just for themselves, but they're trying to spread this, this, this false sense of religion because for God, what is ultimately most important is our hearts. God does not want your money, he doesn't want your time, he doesn't want your gifts, your abilities, he doesn't want your coming to Mass, he wants your heart. In other words, he wants it all, because if he has your heart, if you really, really love God, then you're going to give him your time, your money, your energy, you're going to come to Mass, you're going to pray, but he's got to have your heart. And so the, the Pharisees and the religious leaders were so focused on the externals, that, that, that stuff that's on the outside, which is relatively superficial. And so often in our society, we do the same thing. You know, in our general life, we focus on our looks, our appearance, whether it's makeup, clothing, whatever it might be on, you know, working out and stuff like that, so that our appearance, our physical appearance is good, is attractive. Nothing wrong with that. But that's not the essence of our lives. What's most important is what's on the inside. And that's what Jesus says. You Pharisees, you focus on the outside of things, all those religious observances, those little minute things, and you forget what's in the middle, what's on the inside, what's most important. So as Jesus says, it's okay to look nice, to have nice clothes, to wear makeup, to, to do those things, to look attractive. That's fine as long as you don't forget what's most important, what's in your heart. How many of, of, of us in our world spend so much time, money, and energy about our physical appearance and don't think about what's on the inside in our hearts? And that's what Jesus wants from us. That's what God wants from us. He wants our hearts. So may you and I have the grace always to discern what is important in our lives. It's not so much work or money or career or degrees or titles or perks. It's what's in our heart. That's what we have to be so concerned about, so focused on. Lord, help me to have a heart for you. And all the rest of the stuff will fall into place. So now we stand and offer our prayers to the Lord this morning. Lord, we thank you because you place us in your heart. We are what's most important to you. Help us to make you the most important part of our lives, the very center of our lives always. We pray to the Lord.
We pray for ourselves and others who are at times distracted with things that are not so important, superficial things, things we get so upset about, little details, Lord. Help us to learn, to let go, to uh, focus on what's important in our lives and especially in our relationships. Help us not to sweat the little stuff. Help us not to hold on to tiny things, but to focus on what's most important in our lives and in our relationships. We pray to the Lord. Lord we pray for our government and religious leaders that they too would have the gift of discernment to focus on what's important, justice and uh, peace and well-being, especially for the poor, the vulnerable, the marginalized, that, that they would fight for the rights and the dignity of all human beings above all. We pray to the Lord. Our Mass this morning is offered for the repose of Geronimo Mikor L.A. Uh, and our evenings, uh, well, for, for blessings upon him and for the loved ones that mourn that lo his loss. And our evening intention is for Marie E. Sunshine Devera for her on her birthday, so blessings upon her. We pray to the Lord. And in a few moments of silence, we offer to God our personal intentions. For all these needs, we pray to the Lord. Lord, we praise you that you make us a priority in your life, in your heart. May we make you always the priority of our lives and make love the most important thing we strive for. We make our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. I invite you to sing with me a song that to many of us know by heart, even though you don't have books, uh, the center of my life. Oh, Lord, you are the center of my life. I will always praise you. I will always serve you. I will always keep you in my sight. Once again. Oh, Lord, you are the center of my life. I will always praise you, I will always serve you, I will always keep you in my sight. One more time. O oh Lord, you are the center of my life, I will always praise you. I will always serve you. I will always keep you in my sight. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that this, our sacrifice, and that we ourselves might be acceptable to our loving and almighty God. O Lord, who gained for yourself a people by adoption through the one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, Saint Dominic and all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis our Pope, and Jose our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O oh merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> And now we stand and join together and pray in the words that Jesus our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, but not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Thank you. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. My brothers and sisters, behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Once again, for those who cannot uh, receive communion, sacramental communion, we say the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present. In the most holy sacrament, In the most holy sacrament. I, love you above all I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy, and graciously perfect and sustain us, so that in all things we may please you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God. And have a wonderful day. Take care.